Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing the same thing as um, on another video, in case you were wondering. But it's been a while since the last time I talked about empties. Here's a bag of empties. So let's talk about trash. So let's start with overtone because I do have a few little pots of overtone. <laughs> so I have the extreme green, which I did use last fall, and then vibrant orange, which is what I have on my hair currently. You guys know that I love the Overtone Deep treatments. They're amazing. I have a full review on them. I've used Extreme Blue, Extreme Green, Vibrant Orange. All of them are super vibrant. The orange one that I just finished a few days ago, I loved because I didn't have to mix a bunch of colors to get the shade of orange that I like. Just one little pot, one shade, and it's super vibrant, very cheetos cheesy shade i love it <laughs> and uh yeah most likely going to buy another pot very soon i don't know if i'm gonna buy the extreme orange or maybe switch up my hair color and do maybe like a red if you have any input let me know if you would like me to rock red hair i think that would be pretty cool the next product I have here to show you is a shampoo from Burb. This is the Burb Hydrating Shampoo. This I started using when I switched my hair to orange and I've been loving it. I even bought the big jug and it's so rare for me to actually fall in love with a shampoo and buy another bottle. Like usually I just go through what gets sent as PR and um, I just don't ever get super loyal to a shampoo but this one definitely changed things for me it's very hydrating obviously but it doesn't strip my hair too much because this is obviously temporary hair dye it is going to wash off every single time you wash your hair but this keeps it looking vibrant much longer than any other shampoo that i've tried and i haven't tried too many okay but <laughs> this I was, I was just very, very impressed. It is totally a mild shampoo, still foams, but not excessively. It hasn't caused any scalp irritation. I have a pretty sensitive scalp, which can be prone to um, dandruff very easily. And I haven't had any dandruff issues since I switched up to this shampoo. So yeah, I'm, I've been really, really impressed. Like I said, I bought the big jug, which is totally unheard of for me. But if I did that, it means I really like something. Another product that I finished up, this is another shampoo and conditioner. This is from Paul Mitchell, so this was sent in PR. This is the Awapuhi Wild Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. Really did not care for it either. I don't know, I just, it didn't do all that much. This is the Moisture Balance, and this was supposed to be, um, like, it was supposed to. <laughs> eliminate frizz i just didn't i wasn't wowed by either of them so yeah they were just eh. i know some people really like them but i just didn't really care for them and this would take the orange out of my hair so much quicker i have <laughs> i feel like i always have one of these this is the not your mother's plump for joy bodybuilding dry shampoo i love the not your mother's dry shampoos but i have made the switch to a powder dry shampoo i feel like it's gonna be better for my scalp, better for my hair, and better for the environment. This is another hair product this I bought in Mexico. This is the Natural Formula Keratin Intense Hydrating Mask. I thought it was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was a nice hydrating mask. I wanted more. And I did find a much more hydrating mask from Trader Joe's that i love and i think that should be in here yeah it's here this guy this is the shea butter coconut oil hair mask from trader joe's it is super cheap and it's super hydrating this i recommend i i already have another tube of this this was all right and then i have another hair treatment this is a very hair heavy <laughs> empties obviously i have color treated, very dry, damaged hair. So I do have Olaplex number three. I liked it, but I wouldn't buy it again just because I feel like it didn't do enough for me to justify the price, especially for the little, the little 
bottle. I mean, it did last a really long time. I used it when it had blue hair, green hair, and now orange hair. I feel like this just leaves my hair looking and feeling healthier than Olaplex. So I won't be repurchasing this. I already repurchased this guy from Trader Joe's. This is amazing. So we have another hair product. This is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. I liked it. I got it in my Allure Beauty box, but I don't really like supporting Jen Atkin. She once attacked Gel Cream, which is an Instagram account. She used to do a lot of reviews and there was one post regarding the KKW perfume and Jen Atkin just went at Gel Cream. Like just started attacking her and her integrity and this and that. And I just, after that, I just don't want to be supporting someone that attacks a fellow content creator that way for an honest review. So yeah, won't be repurchasing this. Um, it did have a very, very strong scent, which I like, but not so much when I have a sensitive scalp. So I didn't purchase this. I actually got another scalp scrub from and other stories because <laughs> I bought it at the same time as this blouse and it does the same thing and it was so much cheaper than this. We got some more products. This is the Kozar X BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. I liked it, didn't love this. I love the Glossier solution way more. So this has BHA and AHA and salicylic acids. I feel like this does more for my acne prone skin than this one did. This I already have repurchased several times. This I won't be repurchasing. I also have some products from Origins. This is the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer and the eye cream. Both of them I really really loved. This is such a nice moisturizer for summertime. Very cooling but hydrating. Both of these I actually would consider repurchasing. Both of them felt so nice on my skin. The eye cream, so refreshing. Very hydrating, not super thick or like sticky feeling. It was really nice. A skincare product that I really did not like. And this was kind of a surprising one because I love Sunday Riley. This is the CEO cleansing oil. Like a lot of it has rubbed off. So you guys know I love Sunday Riley, but this just burned the crap out of my eyes. It was quite a pricey cleansing oil. I believe it's around $30. Bottle's quite small. Um, it did a good job of cleansing the rest of my face, but when I use cleansing oils, I do like using it to dissolve any mascara and eyeliner, and this just burned the crap out of my eyes, so I would not repurchase this. And I wouldn't recommend it for someone who has very sensitive skin because it has such a strong fragrance. It just was not my favorite Sunday Riley product. Sunday Riley product. Sunday Riley product. Oops. <laughs> oh, look. Here's another cleansing oil. This is from 4th Ray Beauty. This is the BFD cleansing oil. This is almost, well actually, this is like 12 bucks. This was 30 something. This was amazing. You could use it all over your face, eyes, just dissolved everything and it's so much cheaper. Bottle looks almost exactly the same as the Sunday Riley. This I would definitely repurchase especially after I'm done with all the bare minerals ones that I purchased before I quit. Um, but yeah, this was amazing. This I wouldn't even purchase. Then I, oh my God, I keep dropping everything. So we have some tooth related, some oral hygiene related products. You guys know I love Marvis. <laughs> it's my favorite toothpaste. This is the, just the classic strong mint love Marvis. I will continue to buy Marvis. I've been using Marvis for I don't know how many years now, but you guys always love teasing me about how much I love them. Please sponsor me. <laughs> then we have Dr. Sheffield. So this I bought just to try out. Um, this is the premium natural toothpaste, very similar packaging to uh, Marvis. And I, it doesn't compare it to Marvis. <laughs> it was nice, but I just love this so much more. I also got this at TJ Maxx. This is just a mouthwash um, from the natural dentist. It is the healthy white one. I liked it. It was nice. Didn't burn my mouth. 
have a Bare Minerals Ageless Genius Eye Cream. This is not the first time I've used one of these up. I love it. It is such a rich and heavy eye cream. Perfect for nighttime. And it has retinol, which is really nice. I'm getting more into retinols nowadays. Then we have, this is from L'Oreal. This is a Pure Clay Bright Mask. Um, it was nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it just because it is very, very fragrant. <laughs> We have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense, which is the sunscreen, very radiant, very natural looking on the face. I really liked it. Um, it is 29 bucks, no wait, 39 bucks. So it's not the cheapest mineral sunscreen, but I would repurchase it on sale. <laughs> it was nice, it was really nice. What I have repurchased, this is the Super Goop Hand Cream. It has SPF 40. The reason why I like having these is because I just leave it in the car and I reapply while I, well, not while I'm driving, but during red lights. If I'm feeling like my hands are stinging a little bit because of the sun, then I just reapply and it's not a super greasy hand cream. So this I love. I already have a new one in my car. <laughs> and uh, it's, I don't know. I feel like I've gone through these so quickly but they're so worth it it's just really really nice julep night shift deep sleep facial mask it was whatever <laughs> it was just like a regular moisturizer didn't do all that much i have the anise bless this mess sea holly and holy water spray i like the packaging i'm gonna keep this bottle because i'm gonna reuse it but i wouldn't buy another one i just felt like it was all hype nothing there was like nothing nothing happening on my face or my body or my hair it was just water in a fancy hipster packaging this guy super expensive it was a sample that i got from influencer but this changed my skin i am completely in love with essences now this is the sk2 facial treatment essence I can understand why it's so expensive and why it has so much hype. It transforms your face. Transform my texture on my face. It just, it, it's amazing. <laughs> when I started getting the most compliments was when I started using this. So it was last fall. It's amazing. It's so expensive. I couldn't even justify the price with the 20% off Sephora VIB discount. Instead, I'm, now I'm using a... Um, an essence from Caudalie, which is really nice. Not as nice as this, but it is so much cheaper. But this, if you ever get the chance, is incredible. Glossy AU, I already have a new bottle. I love this fragrance. It is very different from my typical citrus or floral scents, but it just reacts really well with my skin. It kind of adapts to a more sweeter version of it. So I really like it. My mom loves it as well. I really like it. <laughs> I love you, Glossier You. This guy is my favorite top coat. This is what I always use. This is from Essie. Highly recommend it. It just gives you that gel look without um, dealing with UV rays. So this is this is the shit. This I love. I have a few concealers actually. Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. Love this. Very natural looking on the face. Nice coverage. I already have another one. I love it so much. This guy from Kat Von D. I actually really did like the Locket Concealer. But I'm trying not to buy a lot of Kat Von D. Uh, and I did find a replacement for it. I found that the most similar formula was the Fenty Beauty one. So obviously switched over to this guy and then last but not least is the bare minerals bare skin which is one of my favorite concealer formula super natural looking on the face it's just a very beautiful natural concealer essence make me brow love this there's a review up on my channel really nice i just wish there was different colors maybe something redder would be nice but it's a really great formula it's like three four bucks super cheap and last but not least, we have some mascaras. We have the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I liked it, but didn't love it. I prefer the Hypnos Drama. That one is my favorite Lancome mascara. So this I won't be repurchasing. 
Then we have, oh, this is for your brows. So this is the Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel, which I found at the dollar store. I liked it, but it dried up super quickly, so I wouldn't repurchase it, not even for a dollar. So this guy, never again. And then last but not least, Bare Minerals Love Every Lash, which is a beautiful water-resistant uh, mascara, perfect for those of you who don't want a ton of volume and don't want any clumps so the brush looks like this it's a very thin brush i absolutely love it and although i do like my big voluminous lashes i could build the volume quite quickly with this and it just did not smudge it was such a great formula i do have another tube and uh yeah i love this i highly recommend it and that was it for this video. Those were all my empties. I'm going to try my best to find another TerraCycle recycling place. I can re properly recycle all of these containers. It was much easier when I worked at Bare Minerals and I can just dump it at, at, at my store. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, well, obviously Bare Minerals Boutiques, the few that are left, you can take them in and recycle them, but you can only take five containers at a time and you receive 10 points per container. The equivalent to $5 in points <laughs> that I remember from my Bare Minerals days, but I believe Whole Foods also has TerraCycle containers for cosmetic products. So I'm gonna see if they do. I got the email because of Overtone. Um, so I'm gonna check at uh, Whole Foods. If you take them to a TerraCycle container, um, everything cosmetics wise gets properly recycled. So it's really nice. And um, yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products. I would love to know, especially I would love to know what you guys have finished recently. Let me know in the comments below. If you're brand new, take a moment to subscribe to see brand new videos from me and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!